Attic, Insulation and Ventilation Any inspection of the attic and insulation is inherently tied to other systems, such as the roof framing, the chimney, and the electrical system. The inspector should enter the attic space only if it is safe to do so. A lot of unfinished attics have no flooring and many inspectors have, at some time, slipped and damaged the ceiling. Take InterNACHI's Safe Practices for the Home Inspector course. According to the standards of practice, the inspector shall inspect insulation in unfinished spaces, including attics, crawl spaces, and foundation areas, ventilation of unfinished spaces, including attics, crawl spaces, and foundation areas, and mechanical exhaust systems in the kitchen, bathrooms, and laundry area. The inspector shall describe the type of insulation observed, and the approximate average depth of insulation observed at the unfinished attic floor area or roof structure. The inspector shall report as in need of correction the general absence of insulation or ventilation in unfinished spaces. Attic spaces. The inspection of unfinished spaces includes attics. An attic is defined here as an unconditioned space between the roof and the ceiling or walls of the house's inhabited rooms. In houses with pitched roofs, attics are usually partially or fully accessible. In houses with low slope roofs, they may be inaccessible or virtually non-existent. Ventilation. Signs of inadequate ventilation are rustling nails in roof sheathing, soffits, and drywall ceilings, wet or rotted roof sheathing, and excessive heat buildup in attics. Adequate attic ventilation can be measured by calculating the ratio of the free area of all vents to the floor area, but a home inspection does not include this type of measurement and calculation. Types of insulation. Every homeowner should know the amount and type of insulating material installed in the house. There are various types of insulation. The most common is fiberglass insulation. For cold climate zones, the insulation faced with a vapor barrier should be installed face side down with the vapor barrier closest to the conditioned space. Depth of insulation. Insulation levels are specified by R value. R value is a measure of insulation's ability to resist heat flow. The higher the R value, the better the thermal performance of the insulation. A recommended level for cold climate attic floors could be R40 or about 13 to 14 inches, but it depends on the type of insulation and the climate zone. A home inspector is not required to determine the R value of the insulation observed. Mechanical exhaust. Inspecting the bathroom exhaust is a good inspection article. Regardless of what kind of ventilation system may be installed for the rest of the house, exhaust fans are recommended in the bathrooms to remove excess moisture, cleaning chemical fumes, etc. The fan should be ducted to exhaust outside of the home. Inspecting the dryer exhaust is another good inspection article. The clothes dryer must vent directly to the outdoors unless it is a ventless dryer equipped with a condensate drain, a listed and labeled ductless condensing dryer. Inspecting the kitchen exhaust is one more great inspection article. Regardless of what kind of ventilation system is installed for the rest of the house, an exhaust fan should be installed in the kitchen to exhaust moisture and odors associated with cooking. Please refer to InterNACHI's free online library of inspection articles found at www.nachi.org forward slash articles. You can find these articles and more on that page. According to the standards of practice, the inspector is not required to A. Enter the attic or any unfinished spaces that are not readily accessible or where entry could cause damage or, in the inspector's opinion, pose a safety hazard, B. Move, touch, or disturb insulation, C. Move, touch, or disturb vapor retarders, D. Break or otherwise damage the surface finish or weather seal on or around access panels or covers, E. Identify the composition or R value of insulation material, F. Activate thermostatically operated fans, G. Determine the types of materials used in insulation or wrapping of pipes, ducts, jackets, boilers, or wiring, or H. 
determine the adequacy of ventilation. Again, the inspector is not required to do any of those things. Inaccessible areas. Whether by accident or design, many attic spaces are not accessible for inspection. For example, in finished attics, there may be areas where there is no access at all. These should be reported as not accessible for visible inspection. There may also be situations when, despite the presence of hatches and access panels, the inspector will not be able to proceed with their inspection, such as when the attic is full of stored items, panels are decorated over, the access is too small for the inspector to get through, or the area has no available flooring. The important issue here is to report how the area was inspected and what the limitations were. The inspector is not required to remove insulation or insulation components to evaluate systems as these are considered fixed materials. The insulation properties, material type, and R value cannot always be accurately determined. 